皆さん、日本語コースへようこそ。Hello and welcome to this Japanese for beginners course. This is your teacher Rosie, and I'm so excited to start this Japanese learning journey together with you. I have studied Japanese for over six years. I have studied, worked, and lived in Japan. So I have immersed myself into Japanese culture and Japanese language. And now that I'm working as a Japanese teacher, I am so happy to share my knowledge with other people and see their progress. So I hope that we can learn many new things together. So without further ado, let's get started. So, what I would like us to start off with is the Japanese writing system. So, what do we need to know about the Japanese writing system? Is that it consists out of three writing scripts. The first one is hiragana. Hiragana, hiragana. The second one is katakana, katakana, katakana. And the third one is kanji, kanji, kanji. So you might ask, why do we need three writing scripts? Why isn't one enough? Because each of these writing scripts play a significant role in this Japanese writing system. So let's take a look. What role does hiragana, katakana, and kanji play? So, first of all, hiragana it is used to write down purely Japanese words, grammatical endings, and honorifics. So, we use it for conjugating verbs and things like that, and writing down purely Japanese words. How can we distinguish hiragana from other writing scripts? Is that it looks very elegant. The lines are very soft, and I will show you how it looks like later on. For katakana, it is used to write down foreign words. So, for example, people's names, names of places, food, names of cities, and etc. All foreign words. Okay? And kanji, kanji came from ancient China, and it is used to write down a word or a concept. Okay? So let's take a look at how these three writing scripts would look in a sentence. Let's read the sentence together. Arison san wa keiki o tabemasu. Arison san wa keiki o tabemasu. Arison san wa keiki o tabemasu. So, Arison san means Allison. So, Arison is Allison and san. Is a prefix that we use next to people's names to make it sound more polite, like Mr., Mrs., Mrs., and etc. Wa is a topic particle that I will talk about later on. Keiki means cake. Tabemas will eat. So, Arison will eat cake. Now, which out of all these letters, out of all of these characters that you see on your screen, which of them are hiragana? Well, it would be these. These circled characters would be written in hiragana. So what you can see here that sanwa, sanwa is written in hiragana and it has very soft curvy lines that we can distinguish from other characters. Also particle o and grammatical endings for verbs. So yes, for katakana it's more sharp, it's not as elegant. So we use it to write down foreign words like names like Allison, Arison, Arison, or names of food like cake, keiki, keiki. Very good. And last one, kanji. We use it to express a concept or a word. So this is to eat. Okay? But if we write down only kanji, we will not know、um, is this present tense, past tense, what is happening. That's why we need grammatical endings to conjugate the verbs, and we will write that in hiragana. Very good. So, now, without further ado, let's get started and let's start learning our first writing script hiragana. Hiragana. Now, our main base of hiragana will be five vowels a, a, i, i. U, U, E, E, O, O. So we have A, I, U, E, O. A, I, U, E, O. Okay, five vowels. 
Now, we need to also know the way how to write them, okay? So we need to know the stroke order. So I will show you the stroke order right now. So our first stroke would be a horizontal stroke, left to right, one, one, very good. Our second stroke would be two, two, very good. And our third stroke would be this curve, three. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. Now for E, E. Our first stroke will be a small hook, one, one. And our second stroke will be this line, ching, ching. So we have hook and ching, very good. For U, our first stroke would be this one, one, one. And our second stroke would be this wave, two, two. So we have one, two, very good. For E, E, our first stroke would be this one, one. And then we would have two, this long stroke, one, two. So the first part of two is like a Z, one, and then it becomes a curve, one, two, perfect. And for O, O, our first stroke is horizontal stroke, one. Our second stroke is this one, two with the curve, and this is three. Ching. So you have one, two, three. Perfect. So this is our a i u e o, a i u e o. Very good. Let's move on to our second line, the K line, and K line is like this, ka, ka. Ki, ki, ku, ku, ke, ke, ko, ko, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Very good. Now let's learn how to write them down. Let's learn the stroke order. You ready? Let's go. Our first stroke would be this one. One. Second stroke would be top to bottom, two. And this would be our third stroke, three. So we have one, top to bottom, three. Perfect, this is our ka. For ki, we have a first stroke here, one. Then we have a second stroke here, two. Then we have our third stroke, three, and we should stop around here and then leave an empty space in between and then go four. Why am I saying this to you? Because this is a printed key letter. When we're writing it down in a handwritten way, it will look differently. So it will have a little space in between. So imagine one, two, three, someone stops you here. Then you make a little break here and then you continue four. One, two, three, and you continue here four. Very, very good. For ku, ku, imagine that it's a small bird flying to your left. One, one, one. That's just one stroke. Very good. Ke, ke, we have stroke number one. One, stroke number two, two, and stroke number three, top to bottom. So we have top to bottom here, left to right here. Top to bottom here. This is our ke. Perfect. And for ko, we have one. And then we have two. Continuing. One, two. This is also not a handwritten letter. So for handwritten letter, you would need to continue until here. Then leave a break and then continue here. Very good. So we have our ka ki ku ke ko. Ka ki ku ke ko. Very good. And now it's time for our S line. And in our S line we have sa, sa, shi, shi, su, su, se, se, so, so, sa, shi, su, se, so, sa, shi, su, se, so. Very good job. 
So now let's look at the stroke order of the S line. So the first stroke for Sa would be one, left to right, horizontally, one. Then we would go two, and we would stop around here, and then we would leave a little break, and we would start here, three. Yes, I know that this little break is not visible here, but when we are handwriting it, it will look differently. So we have one, two, stop here, three, continue. Perfect. Let's move on to she, she. So she basically is like a small hook. Imagine that you're going fishing. So it's just like one, one, one. Very easy. Let's move on to so, so. So we have a horizontal line, one, one. And the second stroke would be one with a curve going down. So one and then with a curve going down. So this is stroke number one, stroke number two for su. Now let's move on to se, se. So first we have a horizontal stroke left to right, one, one. Then we have top to bottom, two, two, and we have three, three, one, two, three. Perfect. This is our set. And for so, we have one, two, three, four. So basically it's one stroke. Look, one, one. Perfect. So this is our S line. Sashi, suse, so. Sashi, suse, so. Perfect. Now, let's take a look at our T line. So we have ta, ta, chi, chi, tsu, tsu, te, te, to, to, ta, chi. Su, te, to. Perfect. Now let's look at the stroke order of ta. So first we have left to right, one. Top to bottom, two. Then we have three and four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. This is our ta. For chi, we have horizontal line left to right, one. One. And our second line would be two two with the like a little wave here so one two this is our chi chi perfect for two we have a small wave one one this is our two for te we also have only one stroke one 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 very easy and last one is to so we have stroke number one one and stroke number two two one two amazing very good so we have ta chi tsu te to ta chi tsu te to now let's move on to our end line and here we have na na ni ni N, n, ne, ne, no, no, nani, nu, ne, no, nani, nu, ne, no. Very good. And now let's take a look at the stroke order of na. So we have one, two, so left to right, top to bottom, then this one here, two, and then a little ribbon here. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, perfect, this is not for ni, we have here one, I know that you cannot see it here, but it should be like a small hook going back up, so one, and then two, one, and two, so this is ni, ni, for nu, our first stroke would be here, one, and our second stroke would be like this, one and, so we have one and then two. So we have only two strokes, but a lot of curves, so be careful. One and two, 
This is no bonnet. Our first stroke would be top to bottom, one. And second stroke would be like a Z and then curving up here. So one and then two curving up. This is ne. And for no, we start here and it's only one stroke. One. One. Like a bagel. One. Perfect. So we have our end line. Nani nu ne no. Nani nu ne no. Very good. Here we have our H line. Ha. Ha. He, he, fu, fu, he, he, ho, ho, ha, he, fu, he, ho, ha, he, fu, he, ho. Let's start off with ha. So we start here with small hook, one, one. And again here you cannot see it because it's a typed letter. And a second stroke is here, two. And a third stroke is here, three. So we have one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. This is ha. For he, we only have one stroke. One. 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 Perfect. For fu, this is our first stroke. One. This is our second stroke. Two. Third stroke. Three, fourth stroke here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. This is fu. For he, we only have one stroke, so we have one. 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 The right side is a bit longer, as you can see. This is he. And for ho, we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So this is ho. So this is our H line. Ha, he, fu, he, ho. Ha, he, fu, he, ho. Very good. Now let's learn the hiragana M line. So let's start off. Ma, ma, mi, mi, mu, mu, me. Me, mo, mo. Mami, mu, me, mo. Mami, mu, me, mo. And now let's look at the stroke order. So the first stroke for ma would be horizontal stroke left to right. One. Second stroke would be also horizontal stroke left to right. Two. And the third stroke would go through both of them. Three with a little knot. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Now let's take a look at me. The first stroke would look like this. One. Very good. One more time. One. And the second stroke would be like this. Two. So we have one, two, me. For mu, the first stroke is a horizontal stroke left to right. One. And the second stroke... And the second stroke is a very long stroke, two, and going up to here. And the third stroke is here. So we have one, two, three. Very good, this is mu. For me, the first stroke is one. And the second stroke is two. One, two, perfect, this is me, and mo. So this is stroke number one. Stroke number two and the last strokes. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. This is our M line. Mami mu me mo. Mami mu me mo. Now let's take a look at these three sounds. Ya, ya, y, y, yo, yo, ya, yu, yo. Very good. So now let's learn the stroke order of ya, ya. So the first stroke is this one, one. Second stroke is this one, two, and then three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. 
pay attention to this curve here. So this is ya. Yeah. For you, the first stroke is this one, one. And this is the second stroke, two. So we have one, two. This is you, you. And for your, the first stroke is here, left to right, one. And this is the second stroke, two. One, two, yo. So this is our ya, you, yo. Ya, you, yo. Very good. Let's take a look at the R line. So we have ra, ra, ri, ri, ru, ru, re, re, ro, ro. Pay attention here that the R sound is not as harsh as in English, so it's not like r, not like r, but it's very soft in between L and R, so like ra, ri, ru, re, ro. It's quite soft, okay? So let's start off with ra. What is the stroke order? So the first stroke would be this one, one. And the second stroke would be two. So we have one, two, one, two. This is ra, ra. So the stroke order for the, we have one with a little hook and two going down. One with a little hook, two going down. This is ri. For ru, there is only one long stroke. So we start here. One. This is one stroke. One. Very good. So this is ru. Ru. Now let's take a look at re. The first stroke is top to bottom. One. One. And the second stroke is very long as well. Two. Two. So start off. So it starts off as a Z, but then goes up, and it's like a wave with a curve. So one, two, this is re, re. And ro also has only one stroke, so one, one. This is ro, ro. So this is our R line. Ra, ri, ru, re, ro. Ra, ri, ru, re, ro. Very good. Now we have wa. Wa, wo, wo, n, n. Wa, wo, n. So let's like, so let's take a look at the stroke order for wa. A first stroke goes top to bottom one. A second stroke is only one stroke, and it's like a Z, but then it's like a wave coming inside. So we have one, two, one, two. This is wa or wo. The first stroke is horizontal stroke left to right, one. The second stroke is this one, two. And the third stroke is a hook, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is wo. And for un, there's only one stroke, one. One. Perfect. So this is wa, wo, un. Wa, wo, un. Perfect. So this is wa wo n, wa wo. And now let's learn about the diacritical marks. So there are two types of diacritical marks in Japanese language. One type has two small lines like this, ten ten, ten ten, and another type is the small little bubble, small little bubble. So what role do these diacritical marks play in Japanese language? Well, instead of creating new characters for hiragana and katakana. To you know, to express new sounds, we instead add them to the letters and characters that we already have to create new sounds. Yes, I will show you how it will look like very soon. First of all, there are two specific names for these diacritical marks. So the first one is dakuten, dakuten, but I like to call it just ten 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 ten. It's easier to remember. And this little circle, little bubble is called handakuten. Handakuten. But these two names are very scientific and very specific. And for you learning Japanese language, uh, it's not important to know them. So just remember ten ten and little bubble. And then you should remember what role and what sounds will they create. Okay? Let's take a look. So do you remember what letter is this? Yes, this is K. 
hiragana letter ka ka if we add the small diacritical mark ten 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 this ka will turn into ga ga okay so it will create a new sound so instead of ka it will sound like ga ga perfect now let's take a look at these letters so if ka turned into ga what will happen to ki ku ke ko i will give you five seconds to think about it before we look at the answers yes so they will turn into gi gi gu gu ge ge and go go so we will have ga gi gu ge go ga gi gu ge go very good and as you can see we will write these marks next to the letter on the right side okay very good and as you can see we will write these diacritical marks next to these letters on the right side like this okay very good now let's take a look so before this was our s line this was sa shi su se so but when we added these diacritical marks ten 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 these letters became za za ji G, z, 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 and zo, zo. Very good. So we have za, ji, z, z. So we have za, ji, z, z, zo. Very good. Now the T line, ta, chi, tsu, te, to, will turn into da, da, ji, ji, z, z. De, de, do, do. So, da, ji, zu, de, do. Da, ji, zu, de, do. Very good. Our H line, ha, hi, fu, he, ho, will turn into ba, ba, bi, bi, bu, bu, be, be. Bo, bo, babi, bu, be, bo, babi, bu, be, bo. However, if we write a little bubble next to the H line, it will become pa, pa, pi, pi, pu, pu, pe, pe, bo, bo, pa, pi, pu, pe, bo. Papi, pu, pe, po. Very good. Now, let's learn about another thing in Japanese language. This thing will be called contracted sounds. So first, let's take a look at these letters. Ya, ya, yu, yu, yo, yo. So now, let's take a look at these contracted sounds. So... What do I mean by contracted sounds? So this ya yu yo will become very small. So this ya yu yo for contracted sounds will be half of the size of normal ya or normal hiragana letter. So if you can see the size of ya and size of ki, they're very different, right? Okay. And when we will add this ya, yu or yo to a normal hiragana character like ki, so ki plus ya will not be ki ya, it will be kya, kya, kya. And that's why we will call it contracted sounds, because we will contract them, okay? So here we have kya, kya. Now let's take a look at how this would look like with ki and then afterwards with gi. So ki plus ya would be kya, kya. Ki plus you would be kyu, kyu. Ki plus yo would be kyo, kyo. Gi plus ya would be gya, gya. Gi plus you would be gyu, gyu. Gi plus yo would be gyo, gyo. So we have kya kyu kyo, gya gyu gyo. Very good. 
now with she and with G. So we will have sha, sha, sh, 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 ja, ja, j, j, jo, jo, sha, sh, sh, ja, j, jo. Very good. Now with chi and with ni. So we have cha, cha, chu, chu, cho, cho, nya, nya, nyu, nyu, nyo, nyo. Very good. Now with H line, we will have hya, hya, hu, hu. Hyo, hyo, bia, bia, biu, biu, bio, bio, pia, pia, piu, piu, pio, pio. Very good. Now with me and with ri. Mia, mia, miu, miu, mio, mio, ria, ria. Ru, ru, ryo, ryo. So we have mia, mu, mio, ria, ru, ryo. Very good. Now that we have learned about contracted sounds, let's take a look at prolonged vowels. So if we want to have prolonged a, prolonged e, prolonged u, prolonged e, or prolonged o, what do we need to do? Well, if we want to have prolonged a, Let's say we have the word oka san. So we have ka here. If we want to prolong this a sound to ka, we need to add one more a. And then it will be oka san. Oka san. So a will sound like this. A. So to make a double, you need to add an extra a. To make e double, let's say we have the word oni san. So we have oni, we have ni. We need to add an extra e to make it oni san, oni san, to make it like this, to make it e. If we want to make a double u, we need to add an extra u. So let's say we have the word suji. So after su, we need to add extra u to make it longer. So suji, suji. Very good. So it becomes like this. Now, to make double e, it's a bit tricky, so we can either add an extra e, like one-san, one-san. So after ne, we add an extra e, so it's ne, it's like this ne-san, or it can be like this ega, ega. So we have word movie, ega, so after e, we add e, and we don't say ega, we say ega, ega. Very good. And to make it double O, we need to add either U, either O afterwards. So let's look at the word Boshi. Boshi. So after Bo, we add an extra U and it becomes Boshi. Becomes like this Boshi. Or we have the word Toka. To. So afterwards we can add O. Toka. And it also becomes double. So it depends on the situation. Now, we learn how to make prolonged vowels. Let's look at how to make double consonants. So, let's take a look at this word. Katta. Katta. So, this is small tsu. This is not big tsu. If it would be big tsu, we would say katsuta. But this is small tsu. It's half the size of a normal hiragana letter. If it's the size... If it's half the size of a normal hiragana letter, it works as a tool to make the consonant coming afterwards double. So we don't pronounce it at all, we just make the consonant coming afterwards double. So if we have T, it becomes double T, katta. If we have mat and te, it will be matte, matte, T will become double. If we have su and pai, the P will become double, su pai, su pai. So, if you write a small tsu, it will make 
a double consonant like double T, double P, double K or double S. And there's one more way if we're talking about consonants like N, like N, so we need to add an extra N to NA, NI, NU, NENO. So if we have word YON NEN, NEN is NE, so we need to add N, N, YON NEN, so it's double N. Very good. Now let's practice. You will see a hiragana letter on the screen and I will give you five seconds to think about what letter is this, okay? If you feel like you need more time, feel free to pause the lesson, okay? Let's go. So what letter is this? A. A. Very good. What letter is this? O. O. What letter is this? Ru. Ru. What letter is this? Ro. Ro. What letter is this? Ne. Ne. What letter is this? Re. Re. What letter is this? Wa. Wa. What letter is this? Chi. Chi. What letter is this? Chi. Chi. What letter is this? Su. Su. What letter is this? Me. Me. What letter is this? Nu. Nu. What letter is this? E. E. What letter is this? She. She. What letter is this? Mo. Mo. What letter is this? Ma. Ma. What letter is this? Ha. Ha. What letter is this? Ho. Ho. What letter is this? Sa. Sa. What letter is this? Ki. Ki. What letter is this? Ga. Ga. What letter is this? Za. 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 What letter is this? Pa. Pa. What letter is this? Bo, bo. What letter is this? Po, po. What letter is this? Ba, ba. What letter is this? Z, z, z. What letter is this? Zo, zo. What letter is this? G, G. What letter is this? Go, go. How do we pronounce this? Kyo, kyo. Ki plus yo, kyo, kyo. How would we pronounce this? Kyo, kyo. 
because this is a contracted sound, kyo, kyo plus u, so it's prolonged. Kyo, kyo. How would we pronounce this? Mia, mia, mi plus ya would be mia, mia. How would we pronounce this? Mio, mio, mi plus yo, mio. How would we pronounce this? Mio, mio, because we have mio plus u, so it's prolonged. Mio. Now let's practice. Let's try to write down these letters in Japanese. I will give you five seconds, uh, but feel free to pause this lesson here to take as much time as you need to write it down, okay? Let's go. Ao, ao, it would mean blue. I, I, love. Ao, ao, to meet, very good. How about these words? Ame, ame, rain. Ashi, ashi, leg. Asa, asa, morning. Ie, ie, house. Uta, uta, song. Eki. Eki, train station. Oto, oto, sound. Okay, now let's try these words. Kau, kau, to buy. Kita, kita, north. Kuma, kuma, bear. Keshiki. Keshiki, view, koko, koko, here. Okay, let's try these ones. Sakana, sakana, fish. Shika, shika, deer. Suika, suika, watermelon. Semi, semi. Cicadas, Sora, Sora, Sky. Okay, let's try these words. Take, take, bamboo. Chikai, chikai, near. Tsuki, tsuki, moon. Te, te. Hand, tori, tori, bird. These words. Namae, namae, name. Niwa, niwa, garden. In, in, dog. Neko, neko, cat. Naughty, naughty, glue. Okay, let's try these words. Hana, hana, nose or flower. Hikoki, hikoki, airplane. Fune, fune, boat. Hebi, hebi, snake. Hon, hon. Book. Let's try out these words. Mae, mae, before or in front of. Michi, michi, street. Mushi, mushi, insect, bug. Me, me, I. Momo, momo, peach. 
Let's try out these words. Yaku, yaku, yuki, yuki, snow, yoru, yoru, evening. Now let's try to write down these words. Rainen, Rainen, next year. Risu, Risu, squirrel. Saru, Saru, monkey. Rekishi, Rekishi, history. Rosoku, Rosoku, candle. And our last words, let's do this. Wakame, wakame, seaweed. O, o, particle wo. Nen, nen, year. Otsukare sama desu, you have worked so hard. So, otsukare sama desu is very. So, otsukare sama desu is like a ritual phrase that people say after they work hard and finish work. They say it to each other every day. So I'm paying my respect to you because you have worked so hard and you have learned hiragana. So otsukare sama desu and omedetou gozaimasu. Congratulations, you have finished your first lesson of this course. So I will see you in our second lesson. Mata ne!